hello and welcome to my channel this is a diamond painting from Hob Fun. this is one I have seen on Facebook on the ever persistent ads the item I saw was not from Hob Fun. it was from Uloi or Oloi and I wanted to get the image. I wasn't willing to pay Aloe or Aloe's prices, which were ridiculous. So I did an image search on Ali and found Humfun had one for a fairly reasonable price. Um, I think Humfun are supposed to be okay. So I went with them um, to buy this kit. So you can see it's on a foam roller and the drills are around the center. And we have some elastics and they talk it. Right. I'm not sure if you've got a sneak peek of that image. You will get a thumbnail anyway. Uh, Mosfa boat. Which looks like it's nearly punched through the ends. So a Humpun kit give you a single and three placer, two bags, useful to very few people, um, a very shallow tweezers, bent tweezers, large wax and the boat. Nothing too flash um, and certainly useful. These are square drills and We'll take a look at the canvas first. Stupid elastic bands. Take them. Okay, this is in two parts. The paper, which is a joint down the middle. This is a small 50 by 50. open and give you a look at it. I loved this design. It was bright, it was green, it was the tree, it was Celtic and yeah, really, really liked it. I can't recall what price Aloe were charging but I did think it wasn't worth what they were charging. I'm not sure whose design it was originally. If it was somebody else's design, let me know if you know. All right, there is the crown of the tree. The um, drill field is really good. Um, Celtic knots up in the corner. The contrast is really good. Um, yeah, I'm impressed so far. Move that out, flip it over, take another look. This is the base of the tree and there is a big Celtic knot on the page. So all my Celtic knot is here and then in the corners as is normal for Celtic knots. A little bit of an overlap, probably a centimetre overlap here. Um, eight mil on the bottom. On the adhesive, the sticky is as good as you'd expect from Sonor. And we have a little bit of an overlap with this contact. Nothing on this in relation to rivers. It's a perfect canvas from that point of view. And the box was in 
perfectly good condition when it arrived. So nice and simple. No fuss, no frills, just a damn good canvas. It has no inventory there. Let's see what we've got. We have got an inventory sheet there. I think these bags are overkill. That's crazy, but it's the way they pack the boxes. I suppose they want it to fit around and not be all bunched up tight. Stinky. Okay, there's the image. Again, my fixed focus phone won't show you brilliantly. Um, the three tens are in large. A blue pippa. Yeah, three tens are in the large bags, one thousand. Of which there are seven. Three tens. Okay, and there's some extras. Okay, that's reasonably tight. So we've got 39 bags required. Uh, yep, done the math. Seven of those are five each. So five sevens, 35, plus four, 39. Okay, that's how they work. Let's take a look at the rest. I just left 669 out because I've probably had it before, but that is a gorgeous green. Let me get a shine off. It's a nice, deep, rich green. Um, everything is there. Look, there is nothing to really fault this kit on. Um, canvas is perfect. Uh, it will relax in my storage. The drills seem to be good. Some of the drill bags... Um, have extremely heavy colour font on the bags and one of them at least had gold as the colour. Um, so from that point of view they're easy to read, easy to pick out. The um, colours are all, um, quantity is all accurate and um, yeah there it really really isn't anything to say bitch moan complain or anything about. It's a perfectly good Aliexpress kit. The image looks a bit more rectangular. I think this is going to be accurate to size given that I've literally just done a 50 by 50 yesterday. I think it was. And 
this was kind of the size that it was too. So let's just give a quick measure. But yep, absolutely spot on, and it's square. So I trust that size. So yeah, Home Fun is definitely a, a company worth uh, checking out. Um, as I said, I did this with an image search. So if there's an image there that you like, um, so look, I guess so long as you're not ripping off a licensed um, image, um, check out the image search option on AliExpress. I think you can do it on your phone. I'm not sure you can do it on the computer. Um, it's definitely worth looking. Um, there wasn't many companies that had this image, um, but like I said, um, I wasn't going to be spending OLOE prices for an unknown company. There is a few companies out there, especially when you see them advertised on things like Facebook. There's a few companies out there that have these ridiculously jacked up prices and they give you really, really poor quality. So I wasn't willing to take that risk with OLOE. They also have things like the notebooks. I've ordered one of those from company that Jennifer Roberts recommended where she bought her notebook from it's probably the cheapest I've seen those notebooks and um, that price that I got the notebooks from is under ten dollars Australian so um, it is sometimes worth shopping around and shopping the China shops against each other um, for the best value because the quality is probably the same on many of them you're going to get different quality with other companies that maybe make their own stuff themselves um, but when you're coming from a fairly generic thing like a um, a kit or you're coming from a notebook point of view there's only going to be limited manufacturers so you're going to be just dealing with who's got the most profit margin um, or markups so stinky drills it's about the only thing that's an issue I can still smell them actually um, but they're pretty gross um, that smell hasn't stayed though. I've noticed I had a pack of really stinky drills before. Absolutely stank to high heaven when I got them. I tried to actually find them again in my storage container and I couldn't find them. So maybe they stopped stinking after they'd been aired a bit. So I'm not sure if it's the oil, if it's the plastic, what it might be. They still get stored in this plastic outer, but they get packed in such a way and then they're put into a Ziploc bag by me. Um, that maybe just the opening, the airing, the moving them around um, loses that stench from the manufacturing process. Um, can't explain it. Somebody can enlighten me on that. That would be awesome. Um, just as a way to alleviate stinky drills. Because I don't wash them. I haven't washed... Sorry, I have. I've washed one set of drills. And I think getting them out of the strainer afterwards was so not worth the headache. But I am, And I can't even remember why I had to wash them. Um, maybe it was bits and I shook them in the strainer or something but yeah getting them out of the strainer that was interesting so again something I wouldn't res recommend um, if you like this kit check out Home Fun. Um if you like the unboxing I have many many more unboxing videos check out my playlist um, or um, if you want to buy this kit yourself check out the description thanks for watching bye for now